Little Guy Rippy here. September the 1st, Sunday morning. We braved the, looks like more like tornado weather. The, the precipitation on the bike. We're at Polaris. Compliments of uh, Quaker Steak and Lube. Having a Pontiac show here in Polaris. They have a bike night Wednesday night, but I didn't want to ride my bike around here on a Wednesday. I, this place super creeps me out, man, Polaris. There's a Hilton right there. This is a abandoned Arby's restaurant. So that would have been a big boy when it was new. I could be wrong, but it wasn't an Arby's when it was new. And it's an empty restaurant. This uh, was kind of a cheap swamp and they drained the swamp and greedy developers came in here and built a bunch of stuff we don't need. But I like the Quaker Steak and Lube Company. That'll be another video. Going to look at some Pontiacs which was from General Motors, which broke one off in the stockholders and stiffed all the Pontiac owners and took the company bankrupt. A, a lot of Trans Ams with the Firebird and GTO, so they're kind of emphasizing the muscle car end of the Pontiac, which the GTO was the father of the goat was John DeLorean, John Zachary DeLorean. Rest in peace. This one here has a tri power and gold. It says 1966 on it. Registration started an hour ago. I, I think this is a clone. I don't think a GTO had a black top on it, did it? Not sure about that one. And that I kind of forgot about that. But yeah, so many of them are uh, convertible. So here's kind of the Knight Rider car, you think, we'll call that. They just got here. Uh, uh, the newer GTO in yellow. A very sexy red and white goat. Pontiac had their own engines. Uh, they were pretty powerful, you know. And you didn't need uh, tri-power. Just one two-barrel carburetor is all you need on these guys in a three-speed. You can rock it out. There's the sister to the Camaro, the Firebird, an orange, another of the gold. A lot of gold colors here. Maybe that's a Pontiac thing. So I've got all my clothes on. Uh, we've seen this car at Plain City. That was a heck of a good seller, like in 53 and ish, mid 50s GTOs. There's one like that that runs around Springfield, I remember seeing. I haven't seen the prices on these for a while. Uh, an, an off blue turquoise uh, ish beautiful Pontiac uh, more abandoned retail that's brand new basically none of this was needed but you know who, how, who, they're not gonna listen to us uh, special uh, Ling Fetter have we seen that name before is this the Pontiac that was after they shut shut it off no this is a highly modified uh, conversion factory Pontiac by Link Fletter. Be similar to a, uh, a Shelby Mustang. They took a brand new goat and added their uh, package. So that doesn't sound like a Pontiac, but it is. The 70s, late 70s with the square headlights here. We've, we've covered about half the show here. Uh, but just before 11 a.m. See, he's got a strut in the engine compartment on that guy. GT owned or something. GTO, okay. GT owned. Yeah, that's that's when they kick your ass. It's you're you're a GT owned, GTO, a Bonneville convertible. So we're thinking the convertible guys are keeping their tops up. Car for sale over there. A Pontiac Catalina. Yeah, I'm really wanting to see a Pontiac that I haven't seen before. They had a station wagon that was so sick back in the 50s. Oh wow, this one, an early 60s. So these guys are parking their semi-trucks on the grass. 
You think they're haul? That's a reefer hauler. I don't know. Yeah, it wouldn't be cool for that for a family car, a two-door Pontiac. It's got that Impala roof to it. It's a Grand Prix. Registered 120. And it has a stick shift. Yeah. Four speed stick. Beautiful original right there. Oh, there's an anniversary edition, I think. There's one around here. People sitting around with their hands in their pockets. You know, you know that means business, and then when they cross their arms. So this was a pretty cool one. Uh, it's licensed out of Wisconsin for some crazy reason. Um, but in that beautiful blue, looks original, uh, just a very well respected automobile with the T-tops out. Um, up here it says Plain City, Ohio. Uh, some of the dairy farmers from over there are, have a lot of Wisconsin connections. Which, I mean, that's a big deal. So they might be from Wisconsin, actually. It takes a lot of work to milk cows. Um, but yeah, you got you be uh, you got a first place thing here. And the, yeah, Wisconsin historical plate on it. But to, to find one of them for sale, you're doing something. So we come to the Pontiac only show. Yeah, these guys just kind of park their trucks over here. See, I mean, they laid out new asphalt and didn't even. Yeah. That's a place for you. I don't know about this place. So I'm gonna try to do three three car shows today. It, it feels uh, tropical out right now. So that kind of looks almost Lincoln inspired, a, a Pontiac Bonneville. Um, 1965. I mean, wow. So that was worth the trip over here. The 65 Bonneville. I mean, the, the trunk lid's like six feet long. And two doors, and the, and the doors are kind of short compared to Lincoln. And a wide top and a wide body. Just bright white and a, uh, that kind of that gold Pontiac collar. Uh, they colored their engine that color, didn't they? Or somebody did. Just a crazy looking uh, silverish color. Look at that dashboard, man. It's like brand new and the steering wheel and everything. It's a clear, it's a opaque, uh, clear steering wheel plastic with the wing window and a crank to open the wing and a Pontiac blue. I mean, just clean as a pen, I would be 54 years old. Boom. Survivor 60 okay it says 63 that's even older California car with 28,000 miles built at Southgate so that's Los Angeles by Compton Southgate California sold new to a lady in Burbank in 63 it's unrestored in a 389 Non -rest no restoration work has been done to this car. Boom. So there's a Pace car from 1989. I don't want to miss him because I skipped him to get to this one. So that one was uh, Hollywood right there, guys. Eccentric. Uh, and yeah, and about, you know, 20,000 is all you put on a car back then. So that they. Uh, Instead of selling it when they were done driving it, they kept it and uh, they took care of it while they had it for sure. Because you would beat a car to death in 20,000 miles back then if you if you weren't careful. Thanks for watching my videos, everyone. Burger Rippy over here, uh, the Rising Indian Pontiac Car Show, Quaker Steak and Lube, Polaris, Ohio, on Labor Day weekend.